This Jesus we talk about, who is he? He's the eternal word of God. He's the personal word of God. He's the creative word of God. The Bible tells me that he's the life-giving word of God. He's the light-giving word of God. But more than that, For it says, that was the true light that lights every man that comes into the world. Not only is he the light-giving word, he's the illuminating word. He's the one who reveals you to yourself. You see that God Almighty reveals his son in this amazing portion of scripture. He's eternal. Jesus is eternal, the eternal word. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. That to me reveals the eternal Master, whom we call Jesus. Jesus, the Son of Mary. Jesus, the Son of David. Jesus of Nazareth, the man Christ Jesus. Eternal, personal. Creative. That's why when he touched mud, he turned mud into eyes. That's why he can walk on water. That's why he can speak a word and the dead are raised. Life giving. Light giving. Illuminates every man who comes to him. Illuminates you. Because the second you come to Jesus, all darkness is canceled in your life. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. And as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. Even to them that believe on his name. Who is he? The saving word. Not only is he eternal. Not only is he personal, not only is he creative, not only is he life-giving, not only is he light-giving, not only is he illuminating, the Bible tells me he's also saving, saving word. As many as received him to them, give me power to become the sons of God, even to them who believe on his name. That's salvation right there. When you come to Jesus, it's impossible not to receive his salvation. Of his fullness have we received grace for grace. Every time I read this, I see him as the gracious word. There are seven revelations in just those few verses of Scripture. He's the gracious word of God. For the law was given by Moses. Oh, this is marvelous. But grace through Jesus. But I want to finish with this one. And I'm going to put it last, even though it's mentioned earlier. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory. The incarnate word. The man Christ. Eternal, personal, creative, life-giving, light-giving, illuminating, saving, gracious, and flesh. The man Christ Jesus. When they saw him, they were amazed. He's the man, Christ Jesus.